Hi, I'm Lisan. My name is Henrik Johnson. Hi, I'm Jan Brink. This is my husband and my love of my life, Peter. Thank you. And here beside me is my love in my life, my wife, Katarina. First of all, I'm the player's wife of the fabulous rider Marlin Bayard. I'm since seven years married to my big love of my life, Henrik Johnson. It was a um, lucky day 11 years ago. I was uh, trying to find my hotel after a party, actually. <laughs> and then he came and picked me up and uh, showed me the way to my where I was staying, and um, yeah, that was... Um, that was in Falsterbo, actually. I remember from the night we spoke a lot in Falsterbo at the after ride that you hardly didn't speak about any horses at all. You spoke a lot about art and everything else, and that really amazed me because I was, I was expecting a lot of horses like everybody else, all the other horse people, but you had so much in your head and you had so many ideas and so many thoughts of everything else, and it, that really... It shocked me in a really positive way. It was so interesting. You had so much to tell and you were so positive and optimistic and out dancing and having fun. Oh, that was so great. Just having fun, really. We met actually in a nightclub in Stockholm. A bit surprising. What happened? Well, I met this dark-haired, beautiful uh, women. Woman. Woman. <laughs> women. <laughs> and... Uh, well, ever since that day, it's been an uh, interesting life. Mm, it was his sparkle in his eyes <laughs> and a uh, little cheeky laugh he has. I remember when I saw Marlin the first time, because it is these moments that you never forget when things around you just stop and you don't know why. And after that, you find out and you will give the feeling, the name, love. It was a little bit ooh, 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 like butterflies in, in the stomach. Our love started actually with us having a lot of fun together. We went out a lot, we went to clubs, we went to parties and we, we became best friends at the same time as we fell in love with each other. So we are very, in one way, very much alike and in another way we're not alike. For example, I'm bad at picking up things after me. I put my clothes a little bit here and there and he's good at picking up so he picks them up and I'm good at vacuuming which he's really bad at so in the end we I think we're a perfect match. I thought she was really interesting and uh, beautiful and uh, then it turned out when I got to know her a bit more that she was not only a, a nightclub girl she was also interested in horses and uh, a lot of other things that I, I also like so um, we don't really want to be apart. It's like, oh, one day apart, is, ah, it's fantastic. I mean, we work and we live and do everything together and, and we still don't get fed up with each other. It's just just so relaxed and nice. I remember I was amazed because she's really tall, Katarina, and she was, most of the, the women who was that tall, they go a little bit like this, but she was really like proud and it was some kind of, you know, uh, feeling, uh, that uh, I, difficult to explain. But actually, when I was very young, and uh, I was sitting at home doing my homework, and my mother had a magazine, a Swedish writing magazine, and there was a picture of Peter painting, and she told me like, "Oh, this is a nice boy. He have the same. He have the same. Uh, he does the same things that you do. He rides and he paints." And I was just fuck off. <laughs> Because I was just a teenager and I thought, but actually that was Peter. <laughs> good choice. You got, your mother got good taste. Yeah, you like my mother. Is that important? Yeah, I think so. Every woman turns out to them like their mother later on, so I think it's very important. Love is, um, could be a lot of things, but with a partner is um, to be loved every day, even if you have a bad day and even if things goes wrong and you feel that you always have one who loves you uh, whatever a little bit for me when I'm trying to explain love it is having the faith and courage to lose yourself in someone else there is one big problem to get in love in Falsterbo because uh, most of the time I have to compete also so um, 
you really have to focus, you know, when you're competing and, and try to think about any, something else. And that's not that easy if you uh, meet somebody like Katarina, you know, and compete, I, I think, uh, championship or something like that. Then you really learn to take everything away for some moment and focus on the competition. The difference between being in love and to love someone, but I am very lucky. I'm still very much in love with my husband, and of course I love him as, as much as well. But being in love is this tangy feeling when you look at someone and you feel it everywhere and you just want to smile and you just, you just want to be near them. I think the, when you meet and you fall in love, you've got this extreme feeling in your stomach, this butterflies in your stomach and everything is so positive and whenever you meet you don't live together in the beginning and whenever you meet you only have time for each other and nothing else and everything is just such a happy and a nice feeling. Then you start living together and the falling in love turns into real love. That means when you when you find out that it's just it's not only butterflies and not only when uh, you're not only together when you got time for each other you're also together living together and sometimes you don't have time for each other but still you got this strong strong feeling of love and you find out that what's important is actually to bring bring out the best sides of each other that's when you're really loving each other in a really positive way and you can never get more back than you are ready to give away for me it's also important to have one really you, you want to go home you want to be with that partner as much as possible and i'm traveling a lot and i'm trying really to be at home as much as possible but so no but actually i haven't had one day i have a think I don't want him anymore. <laughs> Both Lisa and I have the same interest and I think that's really important to uh, um, make the relationship last because then you have the same interest and uh, you can plan the future together even when the kids grow up and they maybe they move out we still have the same interest and we want to have a future together so uh. if you're gonna make uh, a relationship uh, live or last forever what are the key rules well, I guess it's respect for the other person all the time. And also that you have to be attractive for sure, but you have also to tell the other partner that you are attractive and um, to that per person. I think it's important in the in the everyday because the, it's sometimes boring, and uh, and we try to f find moments that we we really. I can tell him that I'm really attractive to him with an SMS or whatever, and I'm, mm, I think it's important to to all the time tell the other part that you're handsome, you're good looking, you're a great guy, or whatever, or I'm so happy for you, or and um, so you you work on it. I think uh, also the age a little bit. You learn to know a little bit uh, more about yourself and what kind of people, person you you. Uh, can uh, live with in the, in the normal days, not really when you're in love, but in the gray uh, normal days, you know. And uh, so the age maybe, and uh, for me now it's also, uh, I'm not running around the whole world that much anymore, so I have a little bit more time to, to work with a relationship, because I think you have to do that, you have to really take and give all the time. Love is something that you need to breed every day to make it grow and grow. We are biking in Stockholm and we are doing a lot of things uh, for one day and just with each other and, and um, yeah, uh, take some moments there and there to really like be with each other. To make a relationship last for a long time, I guess it's, it's uh, maybe not the easiest of, easiest of things, but uh, you have to make sure that in the everyday you have to make life fun and you have to do fun things together and you have to to try to keep everything for joy and to have fun together i think that's the most important thing not to so make sure it just isn't about babysitting and uh, cooking and cleaning but it's actually to have a good time together sitting in the on the horse show looking at our fantastic horses that would be nice also huh? and painting 
feed my chickens. Yeah, our chickens also. We have a lot of chickens and dogs. And we have two children. There is no secret recipe how to make love last forever. What we always say also is that don't take anything for granted. I think it's very difficult sometimes if you are really busy uh, uh, traveling all the time like I did competing. We can see it in, in the show business, you can see it with the jumping riders. It's not really easy, you're never home. You have to work with it every day, every moment. And as soon as you think it will last by itself, then I think you lost it. Falstebo is actually a big thing for us because we just met uh, when Falstebo was, Falstebo was coming up. And uh, I was a really unknown rider and I had two young horses there and I was... I was really in love with Peter over my years, and I didn't know what I was doing, so everything was doing, going really well. And I ended up winning the six-year-old. Fast of a horse show is kind of lifestyle uh, competition because it's in the middle of summer and everybody have a holiday and um, people are happy, have time. And it's easy to be to get in love, I think, in Falsterbo. I have to remember that only a couple of months after we met, you won Aachen 2005. <laughs> and you said it was my vibrations. <laughs> exactly, that was good. But since then, I never, I never won Aachen. I don't know. <laughs> Falsterbo is a lot of partying. <laughs> Not supposed to say that. You can feel it. It's a lot of love in the air. And it's uh, because... Falstebo is like a big horse celebration party for us who loves horses. You go up in the morning, you can go to the beach, and then you go back to the stable and you ride a little bit. It's just fantastic. Katarina and me agree about one thing. There's two, per, two really good places in, in South Sweden to be in love in, in, in the summer. And that's Borstad in, in, uh, in, uh, with the tennis, and then it's Falsterbo Horse Show. But the Falsterbo Horse Show is really the number one because uh, it's a little bit more sophisticated people there and um, everything around it. So Falsterbo is the best, huh? Absolutely. <laughs> to the question, if there is lifelong love, what would you answer? You can tell. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. And the only rule in Falsterbo, keep on loving. You can't love too much during these days. But I want to know your story as well. So uh, www.facebook.com slash Falsterbo Go in and tell us your story.